when we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Good morning. I'm finally awake enough to say good morning to you guys. Got Winston up and going this morning. He is now at school. And after I dropped him off, I just came straight to the park and got my walk in. That's something that I definitely want to start doing again. I love walking. Now, like two years ago, if you had, would have asked me to go walk, I would have been like, you're crazy. You're crazy. I'm not walking. But now I love it. I love walking. I love hiking all the things so definitely want to get back into it the summer this summer was busy super hot and i think i only ended up walking like two times well besides like walking the dog but like walking you know what i'm saying it didn't happen a lot but i'm ready to get back to it now that he's at school i can you know start coming right over here and walking in the mornings which i'm so excited but we've got well not we well you might have your own chores but i need to work on some chores today in the rv so let's head home and start working on all of that fun stuff.
Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday It's like the perfect fall weather right now, y'all. I'm loving it. Having the windows open, so excited, which that's something that I try to do anyways because I feel like it just helps kind of air the RV out. But days like today, I love keeping the windows open all day long. It feels so good outside. I'm, I'm gonna say it, but I am ready for fall. I wasn't at first, but now after this today, and actually we're gonna have a few couple days that's really nice and I'm excited to be able to have the windows open <laughs> and it just kind of airs everything out makes it feel good so I need to um, I took a break walked Max and talked to Luke on the phone he called and said good morning so I talked to him for a little bit so I need to get back in there um, finish working on some more of my daily chores and um, I didn't close the kitchen down last night. I didn't feel good yesterday. I had a really bad headache. Um, so I did not, we didn't do anything yesterday. <laughs> so I'm playing catch up from yesterday too. Um, and then there's a few things that I want to focus on today. I wanna go through Winston's clothes, get his drawers organized. And then I wanna go through my clothes. I just need to fold mine. I'll, Y'all will see it in a second, but I've just had everything thrown in there. We still haven't figured out under the storage. We still haven't figured out under the bed storage yet with our clothes. Still, everything's still in suitcases. I just, you know, we've just been dealing with it. But that is something that I need to figure out organization-wise. If y'all live in an RV or have an RV, let me know what y'all do for under the bed storage. Because, like, we just have our suitcases under there. And we're just pulling them out and digging, you know, clothes out of the suitcases. I want to do some kind of, like, dresser system. But, you know, I don't know how to do that underneath the bed. And my cabinet that I use, it's just, like, three shelves. And so, I just have my clothes shoved in there. My, like, what I, what I wear most often I have in there. So, I need to go through that. And I need to do a couple deep, couple things in the kitchen. Deep clean. I need to clean under the sink. And then the microwave and like my little bar area thing. I just need to get everything a good wipe down. I do need a mop today, but it does look like it's going to rain. So I don't know. We'll see. It always rains when I need to mop. I might just go, I might just do like a spot mop today. But if you are watching throughout uh, today's video, we have changed a few things since I have, you know, vlogged recently. Um, we had already hold on the dog's getting all tangled up okay we are back inside i got him untangled so what i was saying was from the last time that i had vlogged for you guys we changed a few things um we both we got new mattresses and we actually repurposed our the old mattress that was in there and cut it down to size to fit in winston's bed because he liked that mattress but mom and dad needed a little bit more support. We could definitely feel our age with sleeping on sleeping on that mattress. Um, I think Luke got it at on Amazon. I will try to link it if I'll double check and see. But I think he got it on Amazon. But so far, so good. We really like it. We've slept on it. It's been almost... It's just like a couple days shy of a week. And it's a world of difference from the other mattress if you know you know rv mattresses are just rough <laughs> um winston's was like this thin his little mattress was this thin and he loved our mattress so 
Luke was like, why don't, instead of just buying him a brand new one, which like this, you know, this one's still good. And if he likes it. So we just cut, cause it was just a big piece of foam. So we took it out of the, like the mattress cover and we cut it to size and then we put the, put a cover on it and put it in his, in his bed. And he loves it. He's like, it's the best mattress ever, mom. So <laughs> saved us money and it worked out great for the both of us. We, you know, he got a new one and um, we also got a new one. Um, I have already shared that I, um, or y'all had already seen that I uh, took out the shower doors. So underneath the shower doors, cause like where they were movable, there was like a little, little gap and it, the water would just pour out of it. Um, but you couldn't, you know, do that. You couldn't put caulking or nothing because you had to be able to open and close the doors. So it wasn't, it's not like a thing that anybody needed to fix. It's just, that's how it was made. And it, you know, sometimes stuff sucks like that. So we took, the, I took the doors off. That was one of the first things I did because I was just tired of the water everywhere um, and put a curtain up. Love that. I'm so glad that I made that change in the bathroom. And I feel like having the curtain up makes it kind of feel a little bit more homey. Um, that's one of the things I'm going to try to start working on is just kind of making things a little bit more homey around here because we've just been living in it. Um, you know, getting settled and everything, getting used to this whole lifestyle. Like it's a whole change. Um, but it's still, it feels like a vacation. You know what I'm saying? Like, is the vacation ever going to end? Uh, <laughs> So I feel like if I kind of start getting in here, you know, changing things, making it fit us better and, you know, make it feel a little bit more homey, that maybe that vacation feeling will kind of slowly go away. Um, but it's not bad. Like, it's not bad. It's not bad. Our RV life is honestly not like it. And it it's not. If I can do it with a big old dog that takes up half the RV, then you can do it too. Um, the other thing that we just recently did was we took out this bench, which it actually ended up, it was broke. So, um, it got broke when, um, Winston was playing or something and accidentally hit it and it broke. So we just went ahead and took it out and then we went and picked up a chair for this side. But we're honestly trying to figure out what we want to do. We've talked about taking it all out completely the, cause like there's a bench over here and there's storage. Um, and then taking out the table and then we talked about doing like storage over here and then doing like a table this way and then just having like a couple chairs which we do eat here as well we have like we have tv trays and we eat here um so it's not like a huge deal which honestly there's a lot of people that don't even have tables and um, they took them out because they're just bulky and inconvenient and that's one of the things that like i've talked about you know it feeling like a vacation or being homey like We've been living in it for a while, so now it's time to figure out what works best for us, what doesn't work, what we need to change, um, just to, you know, make it more livable for us. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this is one of the things that we're trying to decide what we want to do, because we've talked about, um, you know, pulling this out. I have talked about still getting, like, a bench that I can, that doesn't have the back on it. That way it's just not so bulky. And that way I still have storage there. But then we've also talked about doing like one of those like six cubby things and then having storage and then taking the table out or doing, you know, that or I don't know. We'll, we'll, go, we'll, we'll figure it out, but we ain't in any rush, you know. No rush. We're just slowly changing things as we go and seeing if it works and if it doesn't work. We've talked about taking this out too. I don't know. I like having the recliners, but... We did take the center thing out because if y'all remember, there was like a big center thing and it had like a cup holder and a big, it had storage in it, but it was just inconvenient and it was just aggravating because the whole recliner just kept like coming apart. It kept sliding apart. Um, and so I took it out and we pushed it together, locked it together, and then it fits so much better in this space. Like just doing little things like that, like taking out this bench and having a chair taking out this and have, like there's just so much more space in here and it's great so we're slowly figuring it out getting the hang of it and you know just figuring out what works best for us um you know because we don't know how long we're gonna be in here we don't we don't know so we'll see but i'm gonna get up and get back to cleaning so let's get some more stuff done
edges have been folded once or twice It doesn't look the same no more Cause the sun has made it pale I used to have it hanging on my wall some time ago A picture of you Standing by that window, playing your guitar. And if I close my eyes, I can almost hear your song. A picture of you. picture of you I could talk to you for hours and we stay up all night and when morning came we make breakfast in bed I don't know why I threw away the word we had what's wrong with me I don't know why I threw The look you had upon your face when I said goodbye. I saw you from across the room. When I was met, I never knew. Feel this way, and it's kind of strange. Don't even know your name. I don't know you, but I want to get to know you. Just wanna get to know you. I don't know you, but I want to get to know you. Just wanna get.
fast or car, nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars, I want to take a trip to Mars, nothing can break me.
I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on? Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade 
Okay, I sat down and ate some leftovers for lunch. It is 12 o'clock, so I have like an hour and a half until I need to go get him from school. Everything is good to go. House is clean. I did end up mopping, so that works out. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. <laughs> um, but I need to run and get some hamburger meat. I'm waiting until I get paid to do like, you know, my big grocery haul. So I'm just gonna run and get what we need for supper tonight and tomorrow night. So we're running up to um, run up to the almost at the gas station. <laughs> run up to the grocery store and get a couple things that we need um, tonight. I'm just gonna do tacos. I don't. I'm I'm in a meal rut. Like just nothing sounds good, and I'm just tired of everything. But tacos, as I know. I can't talk y'all. Tacos is one that I know Weston and I both will eat. So we're gonna do tacos. I need to get that. And then figure out something for tomorrow night too. So let's run to the store. Okay, got a couple things. Of course, I got me a Dr. Pepper, y'all. That's my weakness. Fountain Dr. Pepper is my weakness. Okay, cottage cheese. I got two packs of turkey. avocado for me for tonight and then I got a big pack of pork chops to put in the crock pot for tomorrow night which I plan on filming meals tomorrow like food stuff tomorrow so y'all should be able to y'all should see that in the future but we're gonna do pork chops in the crock pot with some mashed potatoes and I think probably some corn or zucchini you know some other vegetable um so I'll probably divide this up and this might be like two meals, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But I got that and that's all I picked up. We didn't need much, just, just meat to get us through. everything fit in there <sighs> so I've got like 30 or so minutes until I need to leave to go get Winston so I think that is it for me today thanks for hanging out with me got the RV cleaned up reset I got some places organized <laughs> that I needed to get organized the ice machines being loud like normal but that's it for me. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.